Hey, hey guys, we are back with my April setup. Yes, uh, a few days late. I'm over a week late, you know, better late than never. And honestly, it's probably becoming a thing. <laughs> uh, I was on vacation the week before the setup of the end of spring break. So just didn't get around to doing it before I went on spring break. Um, and yeah, it just, you know, life happens and... I didn't have the motivation to do it once I got home. So we are starting off with how I have done the first page the whole year, pretty much. I'm going to apologize for my head in advance. I don't know why I had my camera positioned this way. One, two, I don't know why I, like, I know why I have to look. Like, I'm trying to get it lined up, but... I don't know. I don't understand why sometimes my head gets in the way and sometimes it doesn't. I very rarely move my camera setup and whatever. Anyways, moving forward. This is uh, the same set I've been using the whole year. Just trying to make my life easier. Trying to build a little consistency. I like the look of it. So we're going to keep it going. April, like last year, is a month that baseball starts in our household starts in real life and regular MLB <laughs> all that kind of stuff and baseball is a huge uh thing in our lives with both boys playing travel baseball so it is the theme now did this come out exactly the way that I hoped it would no I was really hoping for a different pattern paper but my printer gave out the same night I sat down to do this um, while I ran out of ink and then none of the other ink cartridges I had were working. It's been a whole ordeal. Hopefully I've gotten it fixed tonight. So I had to go with the pattern paper that I just had on hand. It's not the worst. It's not exactly what I wanted, but you know, it's going to work. You are going to notice this month that I do put pattern paper on the other side. I think I mentioned in my March setup that uh, the next month I really wanted, um, you know, when you flipped the next page, I wanted, you know, the reason to do a Dutch, you know, door is so that you have pattern on each side. And I just wasn't getting that because I wasn't putting the pattern on the other side. So this month I tested it out and yeah, I love it. When I switched to the monthly view, which you'll see here in a minute, I have the pattern over here and the pattern on the other side. So I'm uh, pretty happy with the way that turned out at least. Uh, when I was cutting with my X-Acto knife, you did see I went through the paper. This paper is pretty thin. Again, I'm using an 8x8 eight eight, um, album or 8x8 eight eight journal from Staples. And uh, the, the paper is pretty thin. Unfortunately, I've never gotten one from Archer and Olive. I am loving... I believe this size. <laughs> um, I do believe that I'll be sticking with it. I haven't been filling this one as much just because I haven't been in my bullet journal as much. Um, maybe that's just because it's with slow season in my area. I don't know. I generally use my bullet journal when I become a little bit more busier, when our schedules become a little bit busier. But then it's like sometimes I don't have time to use it. <clears throat> I don't know. It's a whole thing. So hopefully we'll start getting back into it. I really need to start doing my budget again. I, we just need to be budgeting better. Um, all of the things. And that's where, you know, I use more pages and all that kind of stuff. I also have been story planning again in this journal. Um, and so that's been using a little more pages. So story planning is for like scrapbooking, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm excited for that and to get that going again. We have Weekend of Life coming up. If you don't know, I um, have another channel called Create with K instead of Playing with K. And um, I'll link it below. But that's where I do card making and scrapbooking. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check that out also. All right. So here I am using, I pulled out all of my sports um, stamps. I have a one, I have a few from Studio Calico. So I have this game day baseball one. And then I have one, I think that was actually, uh, for like board games from Studio Cal I think it's from Studio Calico. I'll link them all in the description, of course, down below. It was game day, I think. 
And then I have one from L Studio um, that is a sports one also. So using all of them, they get very used in my scrapbooking and all that kind of stuff. So um, they're well used. Also pulled out some washi, some grid patterns, and then this baseball washi that I've had for absolutely ever. I probably won't be able to link it. Like I said, I've had this washi forever. I believe most of my washi comes from Michael's. So, all right. So here is where things kind of went crazy. Um, I really have been, since I do so many calendars in my setup, I wanted it to just like have it be more, uh, organic, I guess. So I didn't want to use so many rulers all the time and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so I was just, you know, hand drawing my lines. Yeah. Well, eh. do I hate it? No. Do I love it? No. Um, I also messed up, but you know, I fix it pretty well. Here's a flip back into March. Used March a lot until the end because I went on vacation. Did not, you know, take it on my cruise. I realized, I was like, oh shoot, I don't go across the page. I section it off because that split is pretty hard. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing right here. Uh, so you'll see in the next two, one, uh, two calendars. I did get rid of one whole calendar. So I am not doing my meal plan. We've talked about this before. I really need to do still a video on it, but I am not doing my meal plan. If I am going to do it, it's going to be on this main calendar. Um, but not that I have my system down, but I'm just going to flip back to my March one and use that. So I just don't really need to be putting it every single month. I I'm trying to make a master two month meal plan that just rotates between like 40 ish dinners. Cause that's about what our dinners are and uh, get like a master grocery plan also. All right. So there it goes. Like I said, didn't turn out horrible. Didn't turn out great. Oh, you are going to notice that though. I remembered that the month didn't start until Monday. I totally forgot that the month ended on Tuesday. I believe it's Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever it was. Um, so when I number them, I just keep on going into May. It's okay. It's like the end of the week anyways. And I, I don't mind that. Um, sometimes when the month ends in a middle of the week, that messes me up a ton. Um, anyways, so I've been watching Joshua Corinne and she is doing fortnightly planning and that's where you like you go every two weeks. Um, and she's kind of like planning quarterly. Um, though my mind doesn't think so much in that sense, I do think that her way of thinking, like, because, you know, she constantly talks about how, um, it wasn't allowing her to look ahead or, you know, if something was due on Monday that she needed to work on Sunday. So I kind of, I, I, I like the idea. I need to warm up to it just a smidgen more, um, and try and figure out how it would work for me. Uh, but I think especially kind of in these baseball months, I think that it would work honestly for me. So just using my Tombow um, marker, I believe N89, I believe, um, to put headers on each one of these. Um, and then, yeah, just lines. It's easy. And then you see, like I said, I went all the way through to May. All right. And then this stamp. Oh, I am going to put some washi tape, of course, just to decorate it up a little bit. And then... Um, I switch to the same stamp set that I used last month. Um, this stamp set is just a Timu stamp set. I will link it if I can find it on there. Obviously things go like in and out of stock on that a little bit. Um, but I needed, um, a little bit smaller of a stamp set and this worked out perfectly. It's almost kind I mean, it's kind of like, the other one, uh, just not, what is that called? 
index when it's tilted. Oh, uh, no, italics. <laughs> um, and it's a little bit smaller, so it fits on the single pages and that type of thing. So I've used this stamp set quite a bit, actually, and loving it. Uh, just using black ink. Also, this black ink probably needs to be re-inked a little bit. So thank God I do have that re-inker as close to my heart is shutting down. I actually probably need to get on their website and see what's left um, as for re-inkers for my stamp sets. But uh, that's a future me problem. Probably a really quick future me problem that I need to handle. But um, all right, so there it is. I also meant to put that on the bottom of my spread, but because I didn't leave the, or I, you know, wrote in the extra days in there, that had to just go down the side. And I liked it. So I also am probably going to go back in with some stamps. I forgot to do that. Um, and stamp in just a few more things, kind of like how I will do on my weekly spread here coming. Um, you'll see just to jazz it up a little bit. All right. So I'm uh, moving on to my next two calendars. So this one will be my social media calendar. Uh, there's just no way I can get rid of this one. Um, I do it differently every single month. I'm still trying to figure out what works for me. Oh, I did. I did look over and I'm like, oh yeah, I was supposed to use these. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have. <laughs> I wish I would have used a much smaller stamp set for my headers. It is what it is. Uh, speaking of baseball, we, I'm watching it right now, and my poor Tigers are getting eight alive. Um, so it is what it is, because then I also put the washi down already and couldn't go over top of the washi. So, uh, yeah, you know. I, I probably need to think things out. So I go to Thursday. Half the time I don't put headers on anyways because, like, I know it's the day of the week. I don't know. I, I just... Yeah, see there, I'm like, I don't... And my washi is not paper washi. It is, like, plasticky. And so the ink will just sit on top of the washi and it will never dry. So it is what it is. Okay, now let's move on to these. You will see here, uh, because this is what, the eighth? Yeah, this is the eighth. That I did, like, I didn't do any planning for the first week. Last week, I really was just, like, catching up on life after my vacation, getting things put back away, getting my house back reset, kind of getting back in the groove of things. Um, you know, that type of thing. So I didn't really, I didn't use this at all. So that's one great thing about bullet journaling. Like I won't have a week where it's blank. Um, I just didn't put it in my bullet journal and that's fine with me. Like I don't need it. There's no reason to put it in here if I'm not going to use it. Like that's silly. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how, that's how I do things. If I'm not going to use it, I'm just not going to put it in. If I get halfway through a week and I haven't even planned yet, just move on to the next week. We're, we're moving on. So the main reason I do love these eight by eight, uh, out, uh, journals is because of this reason. I can put a whole month calendar that is still pretty large on one side. And like I said, because I'm a calendar aholic, I guess, or something. <laughs> um, like it, it doesn't take up a ton of space. Um, or my calendars aren't super small. So the next calendar right here that I'm working on is my fitness calendar. We are going to jump back on that bed and white again. And now that we're home, um, especially this week, I did a little bit last week, uh, but gave myself a little bit of grace, like I said, to get back into life and, um, as you can see, I have already written out my workouts for this week. So that was my way of being like, yep, I'm getting back into the swing of things and making myself stop all the sweets. Because <laughs> once I start, it's so hard to stop again. But once I get like into the groove of things, it's easy. So you are going to notice that for some reason I just didn't put Monday and I'll go back and put that carrying over the paper tearing process over here. Just a good way to keep it consistent um, and an easy way to kind of use your pattern paper that you're, I mean, I'm just, I was not going to use this pattern paper in circle booking. I really don't even know why I bought it to tell you the honest truth. I thought maybe I would use it. Uh, it's set for like a whole nother year. So 
let's just get it used out of my studio, out of my office. And uh, yeah, we're going to use it. So this is the best place. It's not like super ugly, but it's just not something that I would also put in my scrapbook, honestly. So put that down and then you will see that I will go over it uh, with a pen to make the boxes because this should have been done first. I don't know why, but you know, sometimes you don't do everything in the correct order. Again, I will just use that Tombow marker to make my headers, my gray headers. That will go through. Again, guys, I just try and keep everything simple as it is. You can see that I struggle sometimes to get these out. I really am going to look into trying to get ahead in my bullet journal and doing two and three months at a time. Uh, that seems just a little overwhelming, but I think I could do it. Um, I just like need to find a day that I can do it. I need to schedule it in. If I could get it scheduled in, that would be very helpful. So, all right, here it is. I'm like, oh, well, we forgot Monday. Don't know why. Not that I really needed it in there because Monday is long gone. The first is long gone. Um, but I think I actually did work out on the first. Did I work out on that one? I think I did work out on the first. So maybe I needed it in there because I need to put it in there. If I did it, I get to write it down. Just like, you know, who else does check boxes and checks things off and puts things that you've already done on your to-do list just so that you can check it off because that is your prize most of the time is to check things off all right so then with the tombow like i mentioned doing my headers and just filling in those numbers let me know are you a calendar like i know i i just haven't seen a lot of people make a ton of calendars like I do in my bullet journals. So let me know if the, you would like this to get start getting cut out. I know it's kind of redundant because I do it every month. Uh, but I guess this is like in place of like, I don't do like anxiety, tri you know, trackers or mood trackers or anything like that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys are getting sick of that. So here I go, stamping fitness in that same stamp. Um, this is going to be the most crooked. I was trying to keep my head out of the camera. <laughs> and now you could see how messy my stamping is if I'm not trying to look at it. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. It's not. My bullet journal is not perfect. If you are here looking for a perfect aesthetic bullet journal, you are in the wrong place. So keep it moving. I try and keep more of a realistic bullet journal, one that I'm going to use, one that satisfies my um, needs and wants. And yeah, that's just where I've always come from. With my bullet journal, I've never tried to, you know, do what everybody else is doing. Uh, because I just don't go back and do all of those trackers. Like I actually reminded myself the other day, like you need to go back and like do the 2024 trackers at the beginning. Um, I did go back. Uh, I haven't done anything more on my 2020 out of 2024. I really need to do that. Um, I need to look at that and check some things off. I think I've done like one or two. I've made like cinnamon rolls. Um, I did put on there, make bread and I am going to do that probably this week. So all right, so did that, put social media and fitness using some washi tape, and I'm going to finish those up, plain and simple. I'll, I will fill in my social media calendar here soon, and on a weekly basis, I will do my fitness tracker along with my steps and all that kind of stuff. So next up is my first weekly, which is this week, so it's actually the second week of this month, um, but I, I've changed this up a little bit. Not too much. Um, I am just leaving a little spot at the top for, you know, a header, that type of thing. Super simple, nothing too crazy here. Um, I did just split each page into three, which for this journal, I think is 12, 11 or 12. I think it's 12. Maybe it is even 13. Maybe it's 13. Um, because this bullet journal, I think it's like 39. Yeah. So it'd be 13. Um, 13, uh, three, 13 columns. And then for Saturday and Sunday, especially this weekend, I have a, a huge dance studio that I'm doing pictures for. So that's what I'll be doing most of the weekend. So I don't need a ton of space to be doing a ton of things. It's mainly going to be me just showing up to do the pictures and then 
coming home and re rinse and repeat on Sunday. So as you can see, I have filled this out a lot. I went ahead last night before I did this on the camera. I just didn't feel like sitting down at my table. That's the other thing I have a problem with. Like sometimes I just don't feel like doing it at my table for the camera and or with the camera, I guess I should say. And that just, I don't know. It's a whole thing, I guess, when you're, you, when you YouTube your bullet journal, like a lot of people can just do it in bed and not worry about it. But I mean, if I want the footage of it, I kind of need to do it at my table. Nah. I don't know. Maybe other YouTubers can weigh in on that one. <laughs> um, using some washi tape up at the top. Like I said, I, I carved out this little spot for some stamping. You've seen that stamp that just came in, which was the game time stamp from Studio Calico. Again, I believe it was for playing board games, but it actually works really well for just sports in general. Um, maybe it wasn't, maybe that there was another one. I'll look it up again. I'm not sure. Um, I put this a little bit of washi uh, down as a barrier so that I could stamp like that one stamp went over the edge and I was like, oh, I didn't want that to happen. Um, so I just put this down so that I could stamp on the edges. And then, uh, so I think that one says go fight win, that type of thing. And then, like, as you can see, so it might not be. This one might be just an all-over sport one. I think there was a board game one, and I didn't obviously get that one. Uh, this one says, I love this game. I really love this stamp set. So it's, it's a good one if you have kids in sports. And then I just used a baseball stamp and a baseball bat stamp to kind of fill in all the rest of the space pretty much and this one is another studio calico kit or stamp set uh this is a pretty old one it still is up though um so you can still get this one i wish i could find more baseball sets um because obviously i use these a lot um I've probably used this one baseball stamp. Like it really wasn't even sticky on the back. I had to figure out, remember how to get like the stamp sticky again. <laughs> um, I finally figured that out, but um, that's how much I've used it. So, and I love this little bat. I use this bat a ton. I've used it for headers. I've used it for a lot of things. So, and that pretty much wraps it up. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me and watching this probably way after you've watched all of your other playing with me's and, you know, monthly setups. Uh, I truly appreciate it. Oh, this bottom section is going to be my dinners, practices, and what's the other? Oh, my workout for the day so that I can have this. So, um, that is what the bottom is going to be so that I can section that part off and then it will just be a to-do list. So thank you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.